Assalamu alaikum welcome to info pack in this video you are going to learn number system khanwayan techniques so the first technique is technique is to convert from decimal to any number system like decimal to binary decimal to octal decimal to hexa we will use dvn method and to convert from any number system to decimal like binary to decimal octal to decimal hexa to decimal we will use multiplication method and third one is from any number system to any number system like binary to octal hexa and octal to binary hexa and hexa to binary and octal we will use bit method and first convert it in decimal and then convert it in desired number system if you will keep these three techniques in your mind then you can easily convert from any number system to any number system Let's learn these techniques one by one. Okay, before conversion, let me introduce you these four number system. First one is decimal, base is ten and digits are from zero to nine. Second is binary, its base is two and digits are from zero to one. And third one is octal number system, its base is eight and digits are from zero to seven. And fourth one is hexadecimal number system. Its base is 16, and digits are from 0 to 9. And after 9, we will represent the number with alphabets. So total digits are from 0 to 15. Convert from decimal to binary. To convert from decimal to binary, we will use division method, and we are going to divide. it with the base of binary so let's start the division the answer is 22 and the remainder is 1 after again divide it with 2 answer is 11 remainder is 0 continue the division now the answer is 5 and remainder is 1 again divide it the answer will be 2 and remainder is 0 now the answer is smaller than the divisor so we will stop here keep in mind that you will read the remainders from bottom to top so answer is 101101 in binary now let's convert from decimal to octal so now we will divide the number with 8 because the base of octal is 8 now the answer is 43 remainder is 1 continue the division now answer is 5 and remainder is 3 now note down all the remainders from bottom to top the answer will be 531 in octal now let's convert from decimal to hexadecimal to convert from decimal to hexa we will divide the decimal number with the base of hexa answer will be 47 remainder is 2 again divide it with 16 answer is 2 and remainder is 15 and we will write 15 as f so the final answer will be 2f216 so up till now we have convert from decimal to any number system decimal to octal decimal to binary decimal to hexa Now let's learn how to convert from any number system to decimal. To convert from any number system to decimal, we will use positional value method or you can say multiplication method. We will multiply each bit by 2 raised to power n here n means positions from right side. and keep in mind that we will start writing the position from right side and after that we will add the result let's see how to solve this number is in binary and convert it in decimal so we will multiply each digit with the base of binary 1 multiply by 2 plus 0 multiply by 2 plus 1 multiply 2 plus 1 multiply 2 plus 0 multiply 2 and plus 1 multiply by 2 now we will write the 
positions from right side 0 1 2 3 4 5 now solve the powers and add the values answer will be 4 5 in decimal now let's convert from octal to decimal to convert it into decimal we will multiply this number with the base of octal so 7 multiply 8 plus 4 multiply 8 plus 5 multiply 8 now write the positional values from right side 0 1 2 solve the powers add the results and the final answer will be 4 8 5 in decimal now let's convert from hexadecimal to decimal now let's convert to f16 into decimal we will multiply each digit with 16 here 16 raised to power 0 means 1 and 2 raised to power 0 will also 1 and 8 raised to power 0 will be also 1 because it means that this is position 1 and f is 15 in decimal now solve the powers and add the result the answer will be 47 in decimal up till now we covered two techniques and we convert the numbers from decimal to any number system and any to decimal number system and we learn two techniques multiplication method or positional value method and division method now you will tell me in comment box after division from which direction we will read the remainders and second question is that from which direction we will write the positional values okay now let's learn technique number three technique number three is to convert from any number system to any number system we are going to use bit method or first convert it in decimal now let's see what are the possibilities here okay these are six possibilities we can convert from binary to hexa and hexa to binary binary to octal and octal to binary so these are any number system okay and you can also convert from hexa to octal and octal to hexa so whenever you will convert from hexa to octal ho oh right then you will use another number system that will be binary or decimal which means that you will convert hexa number into binary then you will convert it into octal same like to convert from octal to hexa first you will convert it in binary then you will convert it in hexa let's see how we can convert it like this now let's convert from binary to octal to convert from binary to octal first group binary digits in three bits from right side so first group is 101 one, that is 5 in octal now make another group that is 110 so this will be 6 in octal how we can make this table this is octal number system and it contains 3 bits so we will write here the power of 2 like 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 and 2 raised to power 2 and these powers will be 1 2 4 and we will on the position value like we want to make 5 here we will on the bit of 4 and we will on the bit of 1 to make the 5 same for the 6 we will on the bit of 4 and 2 1 1 0 that will be 6 right so this will be 6 and the number will be 65 in octal now let's convert from octal to binary again 
from octal to binary we will replace each digit with its 3 bit binary here digit is 5 and 6 so the binary of 5 is 101 as you can see from this table and the binary of 6 is 110 now combine both binaries the answer will be 110101 in binary now let's convert from binary to hexadecimal to convert from binary to hexa we will use four bits from right side now make the group of four bits one zero one one that will be b11 right one sorry one one zero one 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 zero is d means 13 in hexadecimal so we will write here and now make another group that is 0 1 to complete 4 bits we will put 2 zeros on left side so this is 2 0 1 0 0 we have on the bit of 2 now combine both the answer will be 2 d in hexa now let's move from hexa to binary convert from hexa to binary replace each digit with its 4 bit binary so what is the binary of d and what is the binary of 2 let's look in this table the binary of 2 is 0010 and the binary of d is 1101 combine both binaries the answer will be 101101 so these bits are optional you can write it or you can skip it if you are confused in this table you can convert it like this method right division method write 13 here divide it with 2 and you can get the binary now let's learn how we can convert from hexa to octal and octal to hexa to convert from hexa to octal we will convert it in binary then we will convert the binary number into octal let's look an example for better understanding so okay now let's convert from hexa number to octal as i told you we have to convert it first in binary so for this we will use four binary bits so the binary of seven is one 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 zero and the binary of A is 0101 as you can see in this table. So we will note down the binary, combine both binaries and now the step number 2 is group binary into 3 bits for octal. Right here is binary and we are going to make the groups of 3 bits from right side. So the first group is 0, 1, 0, second is 1, 1, 1 and third one is 1, 0, 0. Now convert each group into octal. So first group is equal to 1 and second triple one will be 7 and third one will be 2. Now combine the number that is 1, 7, 2 in octal. The final answer is this. Now let's convert from octal to hexa. So to convert from octal to hexa, first we have to convert it in binary. For octal to binary, we will use three binary bits, right? The binary of 1 is 100 one zero zero, and the binary of 7 is triple 1, right? And the binary of 2 will be 0, 1, 0. Write down all the binaries. Now combine the binary. And now we will make group of 4 bits for hexa. Write down this binary. Make 4 groups from right side. And the groups are 0, 1, 0, 1, triple 1, 0. Now step number 3 is convert each group into hexa. The first group is 7 and second one is A in hexa. As you can see from this table. 
Now combine both numbers and the final answer is 7A16 in hexa. Now let's learn how we can convert from octal to hexa or hexa to octal by using decimal number system. Now we will convert octal number system into hexadecimal number system and we will use decimal number system. Now we are not going to use binary number system. So for this first you will convert octal into decimal. So to convert octal into decimal we will use multiplication method. As I told you before to convert from any number system to decimal we will use multiplication method or positional value method. So multiply it with base of its own number, right? 1 multiply 8, 7 multiply 8 plus 2 multiply 8, write down, write down the position values and solve the powers, answer will be 1, 2, 2 in decimal. Now we are going to convert from decimal to hexa, means decimal to any number system, we will use division method. D for decimal, D for division. Keep in mind. Now convert this number into hexa. We are going to divide it with 16. So the answer will be 7 and remainder will be 10. Write down this in hexadecimal format because 10 is A in hexa. So the final answer is 7A16 in hexadecimal number. Now you will tell me how we can convert from hexa to octal by using decimal number system hope so you will never confuse now in conversion let me know if you have any confusion in comment box take care allah hafiz